Hey guys, welcome back. So I was going to do a very quick review of these two Goyard dupe knockoff purses that I got. So stay tuned to see all of my opinions. So first off, let me show you how I have them right now. I have them in a scented trash bag with tons of charcoal bags inside of them because the smell of the plastic is so horrendous. Um, I, I can't even stomach it. I, I can't even stomach it. I have not been feeling great the last couple of days, like headaches and just kind of like achiness. I'm kind of wondering if it's the, like the fumes from these bags. So right off the get, you can tell, I'm going to say, don't, don't get them. Um, nowhere in anybody's review did it mention that there was such a plastic smell, but believe me, I will be leaving them a review. Otherwise, pretty great bags. I've had them for maybe five days now and I've had them in there this whole time and I just opened it because I was going to see if it got better. It has not. Uh, so so if you recall, I got the green and I got the black. Um, this one seems to actually smell a little bit better. This one still has that plasticky smell. I don't know. I don't know. I might end up keeping the green one just to see if I can get it to go away more over time. The green one is the one I really wanted, but I wanted to see like the size and everything. But let me just tell you this. This is so good. Um, it's thick. It's sturdy. It. My husband was like, it kind of reminds me of like the LV canvas that you would get. It's that thick. Um, so it seems like it's going to be very durable. Let me take all the charcoal bags out <laughs> all of them um and it comes with two little pouches this pouch and this pouch that's um got a whatever you call that snap button closure um and then this cute little one that has like the bright yellow interior they're like the interior is like a really like fake lining it, I don't even know what you call it but um it's okay anyway this one it has this pocket right here oh sorry it has a snap pocket let me hold it this way it has a snap pocket right here so that everything's pretty safe in there this hooks onto here but it can come off and overall like this cloth interior I can tell you is going to get dirty but for 30 something dollars do I really care no um yeah the smell definitely seems to be getting better on this one. So I will definitely put it back in the bag with charcoal, with all the charcoal bags, even the one out of the black bag, and just see if that helps anymore. Maybe put them around the outside and on the inside. But overall, very sturdy tote. You can see this. I don't know if you'll be able to see it in this. You can see in this, it says, it doesn't say Goyard. It says, text me now. That's the brand. That's the shop that I bought it from. I will link these both down below, but, you know, buy at your own risk because... The smell right that smell is so offensive right at first for sure um overall i would give it a six out of ten for like durability and i can tell it's just going to be a really good like sturdy tote so i'm glad that i did take this out and give it like a little review so i could get a sniff of it again and see you know what that what that smells like but that's kind of that's just kind of it it's there's not a whole lot to talk about with these purses this one like i said smells worse but you can tell like the design is pretty good. It's not a knockoff. It's not a replica, I guess. It's not a replica. It's a dupe because Goyard is Y's and these are T's. Um, this one also have the charcoal bags in there. Um, has the same setup where you have this pocket right here. And then it comes with also these two bags which I think are cute on their own and would definitely definitely use them as like SLGs it also has the bright yellow interior which I kind of like that pop of color and then like I said just like a canvasy material I can't what was it made of
So the exterior of the tote bag sets, so all three pieces, is high quality anti-scratch PU leather, which is vegan leather. The inner lining is made of canvas. The connection between the bag and the shoulder strap is hand sewn, firm, durable. All shoulder handbags have been done anti-shock and wear resistant tests, so it's sturdy and the handles are soft for holding or placing on your shoulder. I mean, whatever. It's a 20, it's $27.40 right now. So I don't know. Maybe I'll put both of them back in that trash bag and see, like place it outside. See if that smell going outside helps me a little bit, but also see if it helps like collect some more of that smell. So that's my very quick and dirty review of these like knockoff dupes of the Goyard um, St. Louis tote. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below and I will get back to them as soon as I can. I appreciate everybody who supports my channel by liking, subscribing, and commenting. I appreciate everyone who supports my channel by liking, commenting, and subscribing and interacting with me over on TikTok and Instagram. It's super fun to be able to chit chat with you guys um, about, you know, things going on in life. And a lot of you have experienced a lot of the same things with like your dogs and that kind of stuff. So it's been really, really uplifting. And I so appreciate you guys that have taken time to reach out to me and let me know like the positive words of encouragement that you had for that situation. Daisy's doing great. She's laying right here as usual. And, um, that's it for today. So I hope you enjoyed that like really quick. I will link them both down below. Well, I guess I'll just link one because they're the same listing. And the black one was $27.40 and the green one right now is $23.92. So it's not even $30. And I would say that, you know, one, if it scratches, you're not going to cry about it. Um, but two, it, it seems like it's going to be pretty durable. So as I go along with them, if I do end up keeping one or both, I'll definitely give an update um, down the road. So as I said, hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll talk to you later. Bye.